I've recorded this intro a couple of times, and it's hard to put into words what this manga means to me. Everything else I has already done, like I finished editing and it's already recorded and everything. But I wanted to try this again. This manga is why I read manga. There's a whole bunch of other stories that impacted me more, but this manga was the first ever that introduced me into this delinquent genre and the feel-good genre. Maybe I might not do it justice, and maybe nobody watches this video. But that doesn't bother me because I want to share all these stories with people. And I have a lot more viewers or a lot more subscribers, which is, which is, which I'm grateful for and really happy about. And I'll continue to make these type of videos, even if they don't do good or well, because I'm doing it to share for, or to share them. And I wanted to say thank you. I was a little sick when I was recording. So excuse my voice or if it sounds like it's like I'm dead. When I was younger, there was always one thing I was missing. One thing I lacked and that was strength. I always got picked on and never played any sports. I wasn't really attractive. Everything about me was everything I disliked. I always hit it with my personality. I was class clown and I was loud and funny. Everyone made fun of me because I made fun of others and myself. But I was never really happy with myself until I read Roku the Nashi Blue. I can't really describe the way the manga made me feel and the way it influenced me. It made me a better man. Maeda, the main character, is who I aspired to be, who I wanted to be. He's the first ever non-anime character that I genuinely loved and cherished. And the only way I can give you a glimpse of his character is by explaining the plot of one of my favorite arcs in the manga. I won't be reading it to you, I'll just be like narrating. It starts off with the teacher announcing a new student, and then all the girls go crazy over him once he's introduced. We find out his name is Sekichi. The teacher tells him to put his hands out of his pocket. We see that he has bandages all over him. However, Katsuji, who's Maeda's friend, decides to place his leg in the way of Sekichi, basically. He wants to put his leg out in the hallway. And we see all the other guys have the same exact idea. Some of the guys start talking about him and realize that he may be a boxer. And Maeda starts to freak out and he starts putting two and two together and he realizes that he forgot to apply for his license. Katsuji approaches Sekichi in the bathroom and that's all we see. We then see, um, we then see Chi, ah oh man, I, I wanted to, let's take a little break. <laughs> I want to apologize for any names I read wrong or mispronounce. So if pronouncing or if mispronouncing Japanese names or manga names is a like bad thing for you, then hope then you probably shouldn't watch this video. She's carrying batons for the relay race, and Sakichi bumps into her, causing her to drop one. But he helps he helps her out and picks it up and gives it to her. Maeda sees this and he gets a little annoyed. He walks up behind her and scares her. We get back to the bathroom and see Yoneji and he finds Katsuji beat up in the corner of the bathroom. We then see Sekichi smoking and Maeda starts talking to him about how he saw all the cigarette butts that Sekichi smokes around Katsuji. Maeda starts to talk about how he notices that he's not injured and that his fists are wrapped because he's a boxer. He also mentions how he lost his license and how he got expelled. So he proceeds to grab his wrist and say, I wonder if you're good as they say. Maeda throws a punch while still holding onto his wrist, but Sekichi dodges it and lands a left hook and then throws another one. Maeda throws a right but misses. And this is where we finally get to see Sekichi's stance. Maeda talks a bit more about him, and he proceeds to knock Maeda out. We see Maeda walking, barely able to stand up, and we see a man run out to help him, but he falls instead. We find out this guy is Sekichi's doctor, basically. Rose, Rose, fight the power! I know people don't really know a lot about the delinquent genre. Most of them probably heard of it or saw it from Tokyo Revengers. Which, 
which fits the genre, but the ending sucked. But this video isn't about that, it's about these teens growing up and fighting and becoming better every time they do. There's reasons behind each fight. Sure, sometimes they fight because they want to, but when it comes down to it, they fight for others and fight for what they believe in. And this manga captures that beautifully. And the art is beautiful, the jokes are actually funny, and genuinely made me laugh. And the fights made me interested to the point where I got nervous on who would win. And at even one point where I stopped reading because of a fight that happened later on in the manga. I felt anger and sadness when it happened. But that's what a good story does to you. It gets you invested and makes you fall in love with the characters and the story. Maeda isn't someone who you would normally look up to. Someone you wouldn't want to be. He's bad at school, he smokes, he skips, he fights. But his personality and his morals, that's what makes everyone follow him and revolve around him. He does these things that nobody else would do. He brings people together and even when they hate him or become his enemies, they end up seeing his true colors and his strengths. Even if they don't like him, they respect him. And that's what I saw. That's what made me become better. I realized that I shouldn't be what others think of me. I should be who I want and who I need to be. Somebody others can rely on. And I'm not, I know I'm not at that point yet, but I'm getting there and that's the good thing. I'm now at a point where I don't care what others think about me or say about me. I'm more athletic, I'm more confident, I talk louder, I walk better. This manga introduced me into more of the delinquent genre of manga. And that's where I discovered a other amazing manga, even better than this one. But this will always be my first manga that changed the way I used to be. And it might be silly, but I don't, I don't care. That's the whole point of reading manga and watching anime. Well, for me at least. I cried, I laughed, and I felt anger when I read this manga. And hopefully I can convince you to check it out. Thanks for watching, subscribe, watch a previous video, I know you'll enjoy them. And yeah, thank you again.